Hello, hello, hello. My name is Prosper Taruvinga, and I'm the founder and CEO of a digital agency in uh, Melbourne called Live Long Digital. So you might have stumbled upon this a video while you were scrolling to find out what best method should you use, either the SEO um, or PPC, and uh, maybe uh, something resonated or somebody shared this video with you. And you might be wondering, is this guy really worth my attention. I might say to a lot of people, um, you know, this might not be the, the, the kind of information that you're looking for. And for some other people, it really might be um, the information you're searching for. So I'm going to explain what I mean by that. Okay. So first of all, a little bit of background with me. Like I said, I'm the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital. We are a full scale digital agency based here in Melbourne, and we're helping thousands of small to medium businesses to start, scale, and grow a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. And what we value the most is strategies over tactics. And a lot of people would understand that when you start a business, um, or when you go into a business venture, the one thing that you really, really want is to get as many leads as possible or to get as much money or profit um, in it as possible. And the quick summary of this video is basically to look at the two best ways that you can generate leads and the two best ways that a lot of digital marketers really prescribe, um, you know, for their people to either go for PPC or for um, SEO, you know, and as I was saying, as a business owner or as somebody who's owning, um, you know, a website, you are fully aware that generating um, leads um, and getting loads of digital traffic is actually the lifeblood of your business. So I want you to type in the number two if you're doing your own lead generation wherever you are. And I want you to type in the number three if you're looking or struggling to get leads there. The reason why I'm saying this is because a lot of people, when they start, you know, this whole uh, trip of, you know, wanting to start their own business, it becomes so daunting. There's a lot of stuff that they have to uh, look into. There's a lot of strategies. There's a lot of tactics that are out there that they think they need to use. And half of the time, people would have just come in from maybe you know, a profession where all of this was done for them, all they had to do was to deal with the leads. Now, when you, if you keep watching this video, you will learn a thing or two and the strategies that you actually need to um, start in order for you to have a business that is profitable and enjoyable. So as I was saying earlier on, I mean, if you've typed in the number two, it actually means that you are looking for ways, um, you know, you're already in the game and you're already maybe trying out some of these tactics. Now, as a business owner, like I said, you're always on the lookout for um, new leads. You're always um, you know, on the lookout for new strategies to reach your audience so that they can um, you know, hear your message and your market can buy from you continually. So strategies like PPC, which basically means you're paying Google to be able to um, you know, um, drive traffic from you know, the search engine to yourself there in, in order for you to, for them to, to convert. All right. Or you're using search um, engine optimization, which basically is letting the algorithms know that um, you've got the right kind of content for what, um, you know, their audience are actually looking for. So search engine optimization, which is SEO and PPC marketing. Those are two options, two options um, of business, um, you know, um, that a lot of people are using. And if you understand the difference between these two options, it will help you decide the best approach that is best for your business. All right. So just like everything has um, a start and an end, a yin and a yang, we live in a world of duality. All right. So some people like, um, you know, quick returns um, with small profits or some people like a lot of profits, but and having to wait for that to come through. So it then depends what sort of strategy or what sort of, um, you know, scenario are you going to be, um, you know, um, excited about in order for you to, um, you know, reach your audience and 
um, create for and relate to them. Okay. Now you also notice that I'm a little bit biased towards search engine optimization. The reason being I'm an advocate for strategy. I'm an advocate for things that last. I'm an advocate for building a business that you can actually will, um, you know, to your future generations. I'm not an advocate for people that want to do, um, you know, get rich quick schemes. I'm not an advocate for people that just look at, um, you know, a website as a means to an end. I'm an advocate for people that really want to build something, build a long lasting business that they can actually will off to their, um, you know, um, descendants. All right. So you will notice as we go along that I might be b biased towards search engine optimization because it is actually an investment into your business. And if you are not well versed um, as to what SEO really is, SEO is a process where you optimize your site so that it's organically shown up to your prospects in the search results. So maybe the last time you had to look for um, car parts or the last time you're looking for a movie to watch, you went on to Google, right? And then you actually typed in movies, uh, theater near me or, you know, car engineer near me. That is the first three or five results that you find normally and the ones that you click on, that's because somebody has done what is called search engine optimization to make sure that they've made Google understand who they are, what they sell, who they sell it to, and how they want people to find them. So SEO is basically the process of you optimizing your site so that it organically shows in, um, you know, when, when, when users are searching. And when you have done it effectively, you actually gain traffic naturally because when your page is ranking up highly on uh, uh, page one of Google, it makes it a whole lot easier for people to find you and for search engines to actually recommend your work right then. And when you're using what is called PPC, which is pay-per-click, um, your page is also guaranteed to show up, but it's only if and only when you're actually paying for it, all right? So the difference is search engine optimization is, is happening organically, all right, without you having to pay to play. But with PPC, the moment you stop paying, that's the moment you stop uh, being found in the search engine. So while both, you know, um, activities are being sort of uh, sold by one uh, producer, which is uh, Google. Um, some other people like Facebook, some other people like LinkedIn have also seen this approach and have now um, gotten people to start paying to, to be found or start paying to syndicate your content. So I might be touching up on, on um, all those aspects, but my main thing really is if you don't have a strategy or if you're not doing marketing overall, it is going to be difficult for your customers to actually find you, okay? Um, you might be saying, oh, what's the difference really? Or is there a difference between marketing and actual advertising? I might say that, you know, if you need to persuade anyone to take any action, you're doing marketing. All right. So right now you might have been doing um, something or scrolling uh, in your news feed and you stumbled upon this video. What I'm doing is marketing, creating for and relating to somebody who might potentially find this piece of content useful for them and they can do something about it. So if you're going to be persuading people to buy from you, you're going to be persuading people to grab um, whatever lead magnet you might have within your business. If you're going to be persuading people to come to your shop or whatever it is, come to your event, that is marketing. All right. And if you're looking for people to maybe vote for you, like right now in Australia, there's, um, it's, it's election season. You know what I mean? So if you're looking for people to vote for you in a council meeting, or if you're looking for a promotion, um, within work, when you're doing stuff for people that care, that is actual marketing. All right. And if you're putting out the right kind of content, if you're putting the right copy on your website, whenever you go out, you're taking a, um, a selfie for your social media and you're trying to talk your way out of maybe a, um, a, a speeding ticket, <laughs> you know, you're selling yourself, you're, you're marketing um, what you're capable of and how you are able to 
um, make the other person's life better, all right? So marketing goes way beyond advertising. It goes way beyond the, the, the email pitches. It goes way beyond what you, you know, the, the way you, you price your, your commodities. When people are advertising, they're normally just fixated on service, the price, um, you know, and how much it costs and how they can do it cheaper, better, faster than anybody else. They forget that the customer does not care what you're selling or care who you are as long as you can solve a problem, all right? So we find ourselves being surrounded by people who um, who would like a piece of your um, attention, especially marketers, and, and they want a bit of your trust um, or you to co co conclude some sort of an action or for you to conduct a survey or to do something. And those people... We can say they're marketing to us, and it really helps us to know exactly if they're doing it right or if they're doing it wrong, all right? So if someone comes to you and says, I don't do marketing, they probably mean they're not spending money on ads, which is what PPC then becomes, and we're going to be explaining that. So I really wanted to, you know, really, really paint a picture of what all of this um, has become and how you can really understand it and how you can notice the difference when you do come across it. All right. So those are totally different things. All right. And our culture now, if you would notice, has been driven a whole lot more than ever by people doing marketing. All the links that we're clicking on, all the shows that we're watching, all the stuff that we're watching on Netflix, all the people that we're voting for, all of those are marketing pieces, people doing marketing so that we do a, 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 a conclusion or an activity that suits them. Now, if you don't like the political situation in the country that you're in, or especially in, 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 in um, Australia, there are adverts that are coming every single day and they are demanding for you to take some sort of an action. So as soon as you take responsibility for the marketing that we're doing um, as people and all the marketing that is being done to us, we have a chance to actually choose who we want to work with, um, choose how we want to respond to the world and actually make better things for people. So this is why you might think, how does that then tie together with SEO and uh, PPC? All of this will start making sense when you start noticing that SEO is a strategy and PPC is a tactic, all right? So if today you do not understand um, what is happening or why you're not getting leads, it's because maybe you're not understanding how exactly people perceive your brand, how exactly people are reaching out to you or how exactly people are getting to know and finding how you can, um, you know, actually be... Um, of help to them. I see Deb Perkis has just tuned in. Thank you so much. You you will understand that these days I haven't been going live or creating any content because I've been busy behind the scenes. But there's a topic that came up um, in uh, B B B B a group that um, I frequent, and people were very much confused about what P P C is and what S E O is. All right. So if I can start, S E O is basically like I said, a strategy and PPC is a tactic, all right? And the reason why I'm saying this is because customers have already been trained to skip ads. Customers have already been trained to not trust anything that comes out of advertising. One of the biggest stumbling blocks that you'll find if you're going to be using a tactic of PPC is that people or the customer's perception right now is they are already having ad blocker or they already have, um, you know, strategies to go past ads. When you watch a YouTube video, you're presented with an opportunity to skip that ad. So whoever is using money to reach out to you using um, YouTube, uh, that is also PPC in a way, but people have an opportunity to skip ads. Even my little girl who's about four years old knows how to skip ads. So it's clear to any viewer or clear to any person who's going to be watching that this is paid advertising and there's no credibility that comes behind something that has been paid for to rank. 
So a lot of users skim past this. You know, they go straight to the to the organic results, which are the first um, you know, ranking results. And because of SEO, that's how you get on top of that. All right. So it becomes obvious that if you're paying for your ads, there's no guarantee that your customers think that what you're putting out there has got value unless they are so targeted that it actually is saying their name and the exact problem and the exact pain and the exact product that they are looking for. So PPC has its own way, you know, of, of, of you to, to utilize it instead of using it as your beard and handle. So when people come to your website, especially through SEO tactics, all you can do is have, you know, a tracker that can then retarget to people that have already seen your, 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 your work. So you're no longer just spraying and praying with your marketing. You're now actually um, marketing to people that have seen your work, seen what you're talking about, have read some of your content and have some sort of understanding that you're the right kind of person that can help them out. So if you've got any questions, can you type them um, you know, in the comments below? I'll be going through um, you know, those that are um, um, you know, asking questions so that we are all understanding what it is that we're talking about here and we've got um, you know, um, we're going to leave this um, call or this, um, you know, show with the right answer and with the right strategy for us to create a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. So if you are understanding what's going on right now, can you type in the number one? If you need me to clarify something, type in the number two or just ask the question um, in the comments below. All right. So like I was saying, there's no, really sometimes no guarantee um, you know, for, for, for the, for the customer that whatever they're going to find through an ad is actually going to help them. One of the things that happens when somebody goes onto Google is somebody who has a bleeding neck. All right. They already want an answer there and there. Maybe that's where PPC can work. You know why? Because the, the, the customer is not going to go through and, and try and find organic results. They know that the person who's doing ads is actually going to um, respond to them quickly. But if you have actual value to offer, you really want to be found in the organic results um, because a lot of people um, have got an ad blocker, which basically is taking away ads. All right. So some people want to know what it is they're actually doing. Some people want to understand what they're actually uh, paying money for. So that's why it's easier for them to go for an option like PPC because they can actually see how much they're paying per click that they're going um, for. So if somebody is too risk averse and they really want to, um, you know, be in control of what they're paying, maybe a PPC strategy is good for them. But I could always come back and say, you are not investing. All you're doing is putting money into a machine. And if Google decides to change the algorithm, you've got nothing. And if you decide to stop paying for those ads, you are no longer existent in, in front of the customers. So it's usually easy to understand, you know, the ROI or the return of investment when you're, when you're working with PPC, because whatever you pay, is with what the your audience has clicked for. And it's clear to calculate and see how many clicks you've received, how many calls you've received, and the actual price of um, how much it's costing you to be found or how much it's costing you um, per lead, as, it, as, as so to speak, you know what I mean? So in a way, you might then start thinking that SEO might actually be free because you, whenever you optimize your, your pages, whenever you optimize um, you know, your, 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 your properties online. Not only are you optimizing for that one keyword, you know, you might be optimizing for one keyword, but you can be found for five, six or different keywords because of what, um, you know, Google does, uh, when, when they're looking for these sort of keywords. So in a way you seem to not be paying for anything and SEO might just ap appear as if it's a, a, a free strategy as, because it does take a long time. All right. So the cost that is now affected uh, associated with your SEO is usually when you go in to find the right keywords, you know, and when you are going to put out the content, because all of that actually costs money. All right. So half of the time, some people are confused as to should I go with SEO or should I go with PPC? The most important factor that you really should be considering um, 
if if and and based on our experience really is between seo and 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 ppc what are your goals what do you really want do you want customers today or do you want perpetual customers do you want customers that are just going to come in just because um you know they 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 want to know and find out about you right now or are you going to want a stream of never ending customers because if you're going to be going for never ending customers you have to create what is called brand awareness and you have to be sharing information so brand awareness and 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 sharing of information that takes time that takes a lot of curation and it only happens when you have long term goals within your business and that's where seo becomes an effective approach but if you just want to go in go out and 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 just advertise then ppc would be your option or would be the thing that you you want to go go ahead and do it and if your purpose of marketing is just to spray and pray interrupt people not cause a ruckus then go for ppc marketing all right but if your purpose of marketing is to create and relate to the audience that you really want to um sell to or demand money from then you want to be using seo because it's organic it takes time and it shows the labor that you've put in and it shows that you've put in the work all right so you know even just from coming coming from finding the relevant keywords um coming up with the relevant content and the the stick to itiveness shows in in the work that you've put in and that's where seo would start favoring you because Google wants to make sure that whoever they're going to be presenting to people has the right kind of content, has the right kind of um authority which means that the um, the end user who happens to be a customer actually is getting the right information. So if all of this is clear or if it's making sense, please type in the number 1 or if you want me to elaborate on something or if you want me to explain a little bit more um on anything else let me know and i see amit anul um has joined in thank you so much for tuning in brother i haven't done lives in a very long time so you can tell i'm getting a little bit rusty but it's all good yes as you have said spraying and praying um is what a lot of people do because when somebody is busy scrolling through their phone all right all you do with an ad is interrupt them but when they actually go out of their way to um search to find out who exactly um is 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 offering the service that they're looking for you are put you know at the top of google because first of all you've got the authority you've got the right content you've got the right um you know uh, information that they are looking for and it just makes it a whole lot easier for them to do business with you because you've answered their question and people start trusting you and we all know that people do business with those they know like and trust all right so like i was saying seo and website optimization you know they they're the best approach if you're nearly like maybe 15% of all the companies that say their goal is to actually get customers to come to a physical location um if you want customers to do a specific action seo is the right thing for it and making sure that you know you've got cons- consistency in your business you've got consistency in the work because all of this takes a lot of time and meanwhile with ppc is if you've got an event that's coming up tomorrow then that's the work of ppc because you really just want to get quick returns quick um you know profits and you really want to get your products at the top of search engine uh page results okay so don't get me wrong both seo and ppc have their place in your marketing arsenal all right um you can use them to your own dis- discretion you use these approaches wisely and you can find the one that is most affordable for you to actually meet your goals but don't don't be fooled all that you're going to be doing and all that you're going to be achieving is for the benefit of tomorrow. So if you're just going to do something just because it feels good now, then you know, it's not going to really really um help you. I suggest whatever you're going to be doing, try and make sure that you really care about the audience that you're putting content out for. You really want to get them results and you also want to be found when they're searching. So if you've got any questions and if you really want to know more about what strategy or what tactic you should use 
first of all, um, maybe write it in the comments below or just get in touch and find out how we are actually creating for and relating to our audience. We're doing this every day. I'm a practitioner. I'm actually, um, you know, working with more smaller businesses that are probably in the same position as you. And we're doing a lot of SEO and getting them massive amount of results. And they are excited to, you know, welcome their clients because you know what? They've put in the work. So depends on who you are. Are you a person who wants to be in it for the long haul or do you just want quick results? If that's who you are, then PPC is for you. If you're somebody who wants to create a business that's going to be lasting and something that you're going to will to your um, you know, fu uh, future descendants, then SEO is the thing for you. So if you've got any questions, let me know in the uh, comments below. And thank you so much. I appreciate Amil and all those people that joined me while I was um, – doing a refresher on, on, on this whole live uh, issue. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day. And don't forget, um, ask any questions that you might have. I'm always here to answer them. Bye for now.